Palm Springs, Cindy and Eric. And I wanna introduce today's video by letting you know I am at Eric's house today. And actually Eric lives in a beautiful RV resort. At the resort they have a, a nine hole golf course plus a 18 hole? Yes. They have several pool, how many pools? Eight. Eight pools, a beautiful clubhouse, and so two beautiful clubhouses. So anyway, I, ca I decided to come over here. Poppy's in the RV. His RV is like a total house. And um, I, the reason I'm here is because Eric and I have decided to start a juice diet. Now, this sort of started with me wanting to go to a like a health spa for a week or so and the prices were sky high and so as i was talking to eric about it you know we both said you know this is something we could do by ourselves we can juice we can you know drink lots of water we'll swim we'll enjoy the sunshine we can even golf so that's why i'm here so i'm here today and we thought it'd be a nice place to uh to up to make a video so okay now the last two videos for those of you who have not who've just watching for the first time the last two videos eric and i started talking about senior dating what's it like to be a senior citizen to be a mature adult and start dating again it could be pretty scary and so we we really talked and mentioned certain dating sites and and then our second video really focused on red flags, um, just red flags to keep in mind when you were on a dating site. But as we watched the video, we were kind of laughing that it really sounded so negative when really dating sites can be so positive for many reasons. And so Eric's going to Eric's going to start talking about what's good, what's the benefit of a dating site, especially if you're a senior citizen. Well, first of all, um, you put out your what your profile is, what things you like to do, okay, such as hobbies, you like to cook, um, uh, whatever they are. Uh, you like to go dancing, you like to go out to eat, you, whatever it is, okay. So somebody that's looking at your profile will get an idea of what kind of person you are in that respect. They also go down on, um, they ask questions like your your height, you know, your, your physical uh, uh, characteristics, characteristics uh, you know, how much you exercise, your educational level, um, your uh, political affiliations, um, the types of relationship that you want, long-term, short-term, date only, uh, that type of thing. And then your spirituality, um, mm -hmm. uh, your religious spirituality. Um, those things. Um, also, your hobbies, and, and if you like to travel or, or not, and those come out. So you can pretty much try to get the best fit for you. Right, so I think that even though dating sites ask a lot about you, they want a lot of information from you, like Eric just said, it, the, the good news is it really weeds out a lot of men that you would not be a match with. So for example, I'm not a hiker biker type. I'm not really athletic. Well, so they're not going to send me profiles of men that are, that are looking for, you know, someone to hike with and things like that. So, so in that sense, it's good because right away you, you know, you've, you've eliminated a lot of men or partners that it, it's probably not going to work. So, okay. And also, um, you get to, you, you get a profile and you basically, you ask them and you can text them, message them through the app and you can get their phone number and text them directly, which I suggest you do as soon as possible. That means they're more uh, sincere about going out and try to set up uh, some kind of meeting with them on a personal basis, one-on-one, -on -one, either uh, you know lunch, dinner, or coffee, or whatever, just for the first, what I call it, meet and greet. Right, right. And that's what you're doing. You're meeting and greeting, you're seeing if there's something there. Right. Okay, and then after that, then if there is, then you ask them on a second date. Right. And then 
go and progress from there. Right. Okay, I'm going to share an experience that I had. Um, even though Eric and I have mentioned before that part of the part of them asking you for uh, information is how far how far of a distance are you willing to go to meet someone? Eric said he would go 30 miles. I said I would go 100 miles. Well, on my profile, I got this man from Arizona, which go figure because I didn't put that far away, but that will happen. And so this man from Arizona, he drove, we talked, we text, we talked on the phone. And so he said, you know, I want to drive out. Let's go to lunch. And I was like, are you sure? And whatever. So he did. He drove all the way out. We met at a, at a local place, an outdoors place, had lunch outdoors. It was lovely. Well, there was really no spark for me at all. So I thought, oh, great. He wanted to like, well, he'd driven in from Arizona. So he was expecting to spend the day. And I thought there's no way I could spend the day with this gentleman. So, but we had also talked about what happens if you get here and there is no spark. And then we, we both agreed that we would be honest and say, nice to have met you, but you know, there's just really not a match. So after our lunch, we walked around this little place where we had had lunch and there was plenty to see. And then in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my God, well, I've got to, how am I gonna say this? How am I gonna say this? So then we started to leave and he, he held my hand. He reached for my hand as we walked out the door. And I thought, Ugh. you know, now what? So he had his car there. I had my car there. So I, I just, you know, we walked a few steps out and I said, you know, remember when we talked and, and we said that, you know, you were going to drive a long way, but what if it's not a match? What if there's not a spark for either one of us? And he was like, yeah. And, and I said, you know what? There's just not a spark on my part. And as much as I hated to say that, I, what, you know, what am I going to do? That was the chance we both took. And he was a true gentleman. He said, you know, that's okay, I'm disappointed. He kissed me on the cheek and, you know, he walked over to his truck, I walked over to my car. And, um, you know, to be honest, when I drove out, I should, have, I should have turned left to go to my house. I was kind of afraid of, like, what if you followed me or something? So I turned right, <laughs> just to be extra careful. And so, you know, those things, you know, sometimes that happens and that's okay. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about, we got a question uh, on our comments and I went over it with Cindy and we've, like we've said, we've known each other for over a year now and we met on match and I only had maybe, I think one or two uh, actual dates on match. And so when I met her, um, she um, gave me her number very quickly and we started messaging to each other mm -hmm. and I made a date and we had a, uh, it was a nice, very nice date on my part. Mm -hmm. And we started going out a little bit, but um, she went through a tragic situation. And so... Um, yeah, that was like, that was a, a time where you know, my mother was getting sick. I was driving back and forth to her house. I really was not in the mood for romance, for a, a boyfriend, it was not on my mind. I just needed to focus on other family things. So we, we you know, I, I think maybe we went well, out and then just kind of stopped going out. Yes, well, yeah, she told me what happened. And, I, and so I said, I'll just, you know, basically uh, disappear for a while. So anyway, um, Months went by, two or three months, and uh, I was still on match, and all of a sudden she popped up on one of my matches. So I text her, and she texts me back. And for another reason, we didn't get together at that time. There was another something came up. Um, and so months went by again. I don't know, two or three months went by again. And I'm on TikTok, and she's on TikTok. And all of a sudden, she pops up on TikTok. <laughs> and so I messaged her again uh, to see how she's doing and everything. And she said, fine, and da-da-da. And I said, well, why don't we, would you like to get together again and have dinner or something? And, and she agreed to have, 
dinner with me. And this is, this is probably seven or eight months after we first met. Mm -hmm. right. right, and then I will say that one good thing about a dating site is you can take as long as you want to, to text back and forth, to talk on the phone, until yeah. you're comfortable and ready to meet the gentleman or the lady. You know, that's that's why, that's what the site is all about, getting to know you sort of on a cy cyber level. Yes. And, and, and I think that's positive because sometimes, you know, people don't want to go to a bar or they maybe they have friends that don't really have someone they can fix them up with or maybe there's nobody at your church that's that you've got your eye on and so when you're a little bit older you know your activities are, are more streamlined and you don't there aren't as many opportunities to meet someone so that's another um it's another platform you know a dating site is a platform and it can be a very positive one for seniors well, you have a chance to meet, you know, uh, there's a lot of gated communities around this area, mm -hmm. okay, 55 and up, and a lot of times nobody interacts with anybody else in the neighborhood. You don't know who's single, who isn't, who, anything mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. them. And that's where dating sites come in handy, okay? You might see somebody down there, oh, geez, are they single? And you actually run across them on a dating site. Right, And that's then you true. can communicate with them, uh -huh. and not you don't have to just go up to them. Uh, you know, the, the old days, you're going to the grocery store, or you go up to somebody, oh, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah. Now you're considered a pervert, mm -hmm. practically, <laughs> okay? You know, if you go yeah, up yeah, to yeah. a woman mm -hmm. in a grocery store and say, oh, geez, you know, start a conversation, well, you right. know, right. you're hitting a missing there, and so there's a lot of... Uh, Mistrust. Yes, I can put put it right. that way. Yes, on both sides of the road, mm -hmm. not just women but men too. Right. Yeah. So, okay, Eric. Now, let's say you're on the dating site and you're going to meet someone, and so you decided where you're going to meet, when you're going to meet. So, how does that look for a man? Well, in my case, what I did with, and I'm going to say it with you because you're my, you know. I went and asked if I could go out to dinner, mm -hmm. and then I asked Cindy, texted her and said, what restaurants do you like? What mm -hmm. restaurants would you like to go to? Yes, you did. And did. so I asked her, and she gave me five choices. To <laughs> five other choices, so I you know, made the reservation. Yeah, but you know why I did that? Because I don't know... I don't know what they like. I don't know how much they're willing to spend. So I wanted to like offer a, a variety. And yes. any of those restaurants I would have enjoyed. It didn't matter to me. Yes, I, that's why I did it. So if I go out and don't ask that, and okay, if, I, if the man asks the woman out, that's, it's, it's mm -hmm. and I, I leave it up to the woman to, because you're trying to, Put your best foot forward. Exactly, and th that's what you want. So you don't want to take her to a restaurant that uh, mm -hmm. the food she doesn't like. Right. If she doesn't like Chinese, then, you know, take her to a Chinese. You know, right. that's the worst thing you can do. So ask the woman what kind of food she likes. Yeah. What kind of cuisine she likes. Right. And that's what I do. Yes. And, and also, you know, for the man to say to the woman, would you like to meet for breakfast? Would you like to go on a hike? Would you like to, you know, like give their, but those are things you'll be talking about, texting about as you get to know one another. So yeah, you did. We decided on a nighttime date and I drove myself. Of course he drove himself. And when the, we had a lovely dinner, we actually went back to the, to the dancing area. We danced. So that was really nice to have a man that danced and didn't have to be drug out on the dance floor. And then after, you know, I think I was ready to leave and I, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, you know, I'm kind of ready to, I think maybe he said, would you like another drink? And I was like, you know what, I'm really ready to go. So, you know, we, it was a fairly early evening. We didn't like close the place down. I got oh. in my car. Yeah. yeah, and then, so it was safe. The, the parking lot was all lit and everything. They had valet, so if something happened, I could scream or whatever. But yeah, it was a nice date, and then um, that's how we really got to know each other. That started it. Mm -hmm. That started the whole thing. That's yeah. Basically. So if you... Okay, here's another thing that that's very important. People our age 
we have sort of desires in our hearts about things we would like to do, but maybe we don't want to do them alone. So you, there is room for everybody on a dating site. If you want to find a travel partner and only, you know, only someone to travel with, that's what you say. If you want a partner to just go out to dinner with, then that's what you say. What else? If, you know, there's something for everyone. The other uh, important thing to remember is if you're on a site or multiple sites, check them daily. Yes, yes, check them daily because you want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you can, you can miss one. Somebody can come up there and say, oh, gee, I left it three or four days. Well, you, they think mm -hmm. you're not interested. Right. And you might have had a great opportunity. You might have hit it off. You don't know. Right. you got to check them daily. Yes. And answer them daily. Yes. The, within 24 hours. Yes. You want to text them back. If they text you, text them back within 24 hours. Yes. For the male point of view, and what I found, is that I hit the like button, mm -hmm. okay, but sometimes I won't text, mm -hmm. and let the lady go over my profile, and if she liked my profile, then she would hit, get back with mm -hmm. me with a thumbs up, or she'll give me a little text. Yes. Okay, I let the woman take yes. the initiative on that part of it. I say, I like you, look mm -hmm. at me, mm -hmm. if you like me, if not, then... Then you don't have to respond at all. Then you don't have to respond at all. Right. So that's on the male part of it, That's that's what I did. And, and I got better responses doing that than if I text them directly. And and from the woman's point of view, if I, if I like, let's say Eric texts me and said, um, "Hi Cindy, read your profile. I like, I you know, I, I, or just a like or something," then I would look at his profile and then, um, if I wanted to to advance it, I would I would usually say like, "Hi Eric, nice to hear from you." Then that would let him know. Oh, she might be interested. He could, you know, write, write back. Oh, I'm glad you responded. Let's get to know each other. And I would say, yes, I'd love that. Whatever. You know, it goes from there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But if on the male, if there's male, I mean, the females, if you get a response, the, the guy doesn't text you. Don't think he is not interested. True. What he's doing is he's responding, and he's wanting. He doesn't want to feel like he's too aggressive mm -hmm. and he wants you to look him over first mm -hmm. before you even respond right and that's a guy that can is interesting mm -hmm. and he doesn't want to over indulge himself into your space yes that's pretty much covers uh the positives oh yeah we covered pretty much the positives the, on it and right and then once again just if you are single, if you are home, if you are alone, you don't have to be. If you're kind of scared and a little bit leery, but you would love someone to travel with, or you would love someone to walk your dog with, or whatever, you can find someone if you just keep at it. So that's what's really good about a dating site. So with that, you guys, we just yes, wanted to share some positives. There are free dating sites, and I like to cover a couple of those next time um and the pluses and minuses with those okay and very they, good and they have pluses and minuses and um we would love to have some input yes and if if you want and follow us we have mm -hmm. this is our third video we have uh two other ones that are on uh, been posted and if you like this one maybe you might like to watch the other two to get caught up on what we're talking about Tell her, ask them to subscribe. And subscribe <laughs> to our channel. Yes. Which will help us a lot. Yes. And keep this going. Yes. Because we're we're working on it. And also, I have, I'm going to attach at the end of this video some beautiful uh, footage of this wonderful um, RV resort. You're, you're just going to be blown away at how beautiful it is, at some of the amenities. So I hope you stay tuned and watch this video to the very end. I know you're going to enjoy it. So with that, P.S., I love you. Mwah. Until our next conversation. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful grounds.
this is the golf, part of the golf course. 